Okay, here we go, dear friends. Message for today, but God. Two words, but God. Everything changes when you put God into the picture. Uh, this, these two words come uh, particularly from the story of uh, Joseph when um, he confronted his brothers when uh, he was second only to Pharaoh in Egypt, and they were really beggars. And uh, after all they had done for them, uh, to him, you remember they, uh, they were jealous of him, the dreamer. They put him in a pit, probably a dry well. And uh, instead of uh, killing him, they decided to sell him to some uh, merchants on their way to Egypt as a slave. He was sold into Potiphar's house, and he did well there until Potiphar's wife took a liking to him, and he was uh, unresponsive to her uh, appeals. And that landed him in jail, and we don't know exactly how long he was in prison. But... Um, you can be sure it was difficult. And then as a result of uh, Pharaoh's dreams and his ability by the power of the Holy Spirit, the giftedness of the Holy Spirit, he was able to interpret those dreams. And that landed him to an exalted position in the nation of Egypt. And then the brothers would do all these things to him, are standing before him. And um, they found out who he is, the brother to whom they did these terrible things. And uh, they are fearful of their lives because now he's got them, he's got them in the palm of his hand. He's got them exactly where somebody who was bent on vengeance would want them. And what does he, he say to them? Here's something very interesting. He says, uh, you meant evil against me. So he doesn't sugarcoat what they did. He calls it for what it is. They intended to do evil to him really to destroy him. But here comes our two words of today, but God. But God. When you introduce God into the picture, everything changes. Everything becomes possible. But God. And I'm, I'm doing this video because uh, I believe there are some of you that need to include into this situation in which you find yourself two words but God there's a, a YouTube a video uh, and uh, I think it's on uh, the Gaither put it out and it's a um, uh, a man uh, singing talking about those two words, but God, God has a plan. God is all powerful. God can take the worst situation and make something beautiful out of it. God can do that. And he did that for Joseph. He did it for Moses. He's done it for many throughout history. And he can do it for you, dear friend. But God. And so here's, you meant it for, you meant it. What is it? It's what they did to him. You, you meant what you did to me, it. You meant it for evil, to hurt me, to wound, to put me out of the picture, to kill me. That was their intention. That was their heart. You meant. That was what they intended to do. 
they meant it, the things that they done and so on, for for evil, for destruction. And, uh, you know, when you have a dream, as Joseph did, you can be sure there's somebody coming after you who's intent on destroying you, your dream, your vision, your usefulness, your passion, your goal, your purpose. And then he says, but God. Oh, that changes everything. But God. And here it is. Now, God meant also it, what they did, God meant. In other words, God was using what they did. God meant it for the saving of many people. God uses evil. God uses destruction. God uses the evil intent of man's heart. God uses circumstances. God uses accidents. God uses um, loss of job. God uses divorce. God uses infidelity. Uh, God uses um, lies and schemes. Got a loss of job. God uses that in a way that only God can to bring it together for the saving of many people. Yes, through you who have been wounded, downcast, hurt, the victim of circumstances, the victims of plots. <laughs> but God, put God into the picture. And here we have Joseph, the story of Joseph, as an, a, a, a perfect example of what the Apostle Paul speaks of in uh, the New Testament scripture, and he, he, he says, we know, not we hope, not we think, this we know, we know that God, yes, God works all things, how many, all of them, the good, the bad, the ugly, your sin, your failure, your rebellion, what they did, what happened, the accident, God works all things together. Not separately, but he, some, uh, by a process known only to God, God brings it all, and he uses it all things together for good. For good. And here's the kicker. It's not for everybody. It's very clear. For those who love God, in other words, love him enough to put him in the picture. God works all things together for good to those who love him, number one, and number two, to those who are the called according to his purpose. Dear friend, you don't need a button, you don't need a badge, you don't need a document hanging on the wall. All you need to do is have heard the voice of God as Isaiah did, saying, who will go for me? And Isaiah responded, here am I, send me. He was called, and dear friend, that voice is still calling out today, and possibly you have responded to that. And what you find yourself in today is a result of that response. God works all things together for good because you are called. And when you're called, it'll give you the power to get up. I have a destiny. I have a significance. My life has purpose. And I'm not going to lay down and die. I'm going to get up again. And I'm going to use those wonderful spiritual weapons. I'm going to fight and get up again. That's my thought today. Two words. But God, pray that God will bless you mightily today. This is your friend, Pastor Roy, saying goodbye for now, and I'll be back.